Hi, my name is Ben Plesier and I am a fervent user of Wappler. With this video, I will add an image to the categories page. To create the CRUD actions, I will make use of the image resize library item that I created in the previous video. I start off with the categories page opened in Wappler and turn app connect mode off so that I can see the hidden part. Now, I want to add the image after the long description text area. However, the image should only be shown if one exists. To achieve this and to stop the browser from marking up, I will need to add a conditional region. For this, I select the long description form group and add a conditional region after it. For the condition, I select the image field from the data detail data source. If the image field does not contain a value, then the expression is false and the image will not show. Inside the conditional region, I place the image, making sure to give it a width and height to facilitate the rendering process. To make sure that the image size is down when the need arises, I tick the responsive checkbox. Then I scroll down to dynamic attributes where I choose, image source. For the value, I enter the full path and choose the image field from the data detail data source. A bit of a fiddle here because Wappler tends to delete the forward slash. Then, again I use dynamic attributes. This time to give the image an alt text. The value of the text is the name of the category from the data detail data source. Now for the form file field. I select the conditional region and place a vertical form group after it. The form label gets the text of, image. Then I remove the text input field and replace it with a file upload field. Remember that I used the search panel to change the ID prefix? That same prefix is now used for the file upload field. The name gets the value of, image. The help text is deleted and I save the file to properly format the code. Unlike the other form inputs, the file upload does not have a value bound to it. The next step is to move the conditional region to after the form label. You may be wondering why I did not place the conditional region there in the first place. The answer is, that I am working within the constraints of Wappler and this is the only way to do it. Not a big problem, just something for the Wappler team to ponder on fixing. After the image, but inside the conditional region, I want to place a paragraph with a message that the file input field can be used to change the image. A few changes for the aesthetics and we are done here. The time has come to tackle the back end. For this I go to the Workflows tab. Here I select the Categories Upsert API. Let's first have a look at the posted variables. Here we see that the image variable is a text when it should be a file. Hence, it is changed accordingly. There is no need to make any changes to the insert step. So I go to the update step. This is how it goes. If there is an image involved, 
then this has to be uploaded and the name entered into the database. If no image, then the upload step is not necessary. I go ahead and add a new condition that decides on whether there is an image or not. If there is an image, then one of the steps is to add the image name to the database. For this we need an update database. I copy the existing update step and place it in the truthy part of the condition and change the name. Then I create the falsy part of the condition and place the other update step inside it. For the falsy update step, I remove the image field. There is no image to update. In the truthy part, I add a file upload step. For the field, I select the posted image. The path is a forward slash followed by the name of the folder. This can be any name, I have called it, temp. Then I select a few of the options to ensure that we do not run into trouble. After the upload step, I insert an exec step. I name it, image resize. The action is the library item that we created in the previous video. This info will not be seen on the front end, hence I deselect output. For the path, I select the path under file upload. The width, I set to 300. The folder is the categories folder. And the name is the category ID. If you remember from the previous video, the file extension is automatically added by the library item. I now need to change the value of the image in the truthy update step. This is set to the category ID followed by .webp. Lastly, for the truthy condition, I delete the temporary folder that contains the uploaded image. After the table update I insert a remove folder step. The path is the temp folder. Save the file and we are done with the upsert API. The read API already contains the image. So no further action required. The delete API needs an action to remove the image. First we need to know if the file exists, otherwise we will get a server side error. After the condition step comes the truthy part. But before embarking on the truthy step, I need to enter the path and file name that needs to be examined. I enter the full path starting with the public folder and finishing with the name and extension of the image.
For the truthy step, I add a file remove. The path is the same as for the condition. Save the file and we are done. I'll now do a quick test to see if what has been done actually works. I add an image and save the update. In Wappler, I see that the folders have been created and there is an image inside the categories folder. Checking the database table. Presto! The file name has been inserted. And that is how easy it is to upload and resize an image using Wappler. I trust that you have been able to follow the steps that were required and hope that you enjoyed the video. For the next video, I will tackle the products page. See you there.